Hi, Stephen here, and welcome to Worldview Outdoors. Today we're reviewing a new jacket that I've purchased here in the past few months, the Outdoor Vitals Regulator Down Jacket. Enjoy! I do owe you this disclaimer. The Outdoor Vitals Regulator Down Jacket that I'm wearing, I purchased with my own money. I'm not endorsed or asked to make this video, and actually the jacket I'm wearing I did purchase at a reduced price on sale. Just thought you should know that. Jacket weighs 10 ounces, a 20 denier shell, 10 denier lining, it comes with the Outdoor Vitals Performance Promise. It's an 800 plus fill, duck down, athletic cut jacket with the DWR waterproof coating. The zipper pockets are of the YKK design. They're insulated to keep your hands warm. The sleeves have thumb holes to increase warmth during a cold night. That does help to complement not having gloves if you happen to forget those behind at home. It has a two-way adjustable hood, two neck adjusters, and one on top of the head for a nice form fit. The water repellent shell of the jacket is of a baffle design to hold the insulation in place, both for the arms and the torso. The neck is of a high collar, and of course the YKK zipper is all the way up the front. The waist has a two adjustable shock cord to keep out the wind, and the adjustments are inside the pockets as well. The jacket itself folds up into one of its pockets to create a down pillow. The size of the pillow itself is 6.5 by 11 inches. The jacket includes armpit vents to help with airflow during a higher activity hike. Now they've got the details and the specs out of the way. Let's go on to the pros and cons of this Outdoor Vitals regulator down jacket. My first pro for the regulator down jacket is the pit zip options that helps you to regulate your temperatures. It's definitely a welcome addition when the weathers change as you hike farther and farther and your temperature raises or rises and you need to cool off a little bit. Those pit zip options is definitely my first pro for this Outdoor Vitals regulator jacket. My second pro for the Outdoor Vitals Regulator Jacket is the thumb holes at the end of the sleeves. That is definitely a welcome addition that many other jackets I've used on the trail do not have. And just the ability to put your thumbs through the sleeves, it's more than enough to cover the space you will hold a trekking pole in the palm of your hand, and it's more than enough to help regulate on a colder day when you just don't want to wear gloves out on the trail. So the second plus is definitely the thumb holes on the end of the sleeves. My third plus for the Outdoor Vitals regulator down jacket is just the fact that it's just not as expensive as many other well-known brand jackets on the market. It is reasonably priced and with changes that Outdoor Vitals made with an upcoming jacket this jacket I'm wearing is actually a reasonably priced jacket to purchase online. So that's definitely my third pro for the jacket is its pricing is well within range of most outdoor um, ultralight hikers. And my fourth pro and lastly, as you probably noticed in many of my other um, gear review videos, is this jacket is American made. So I know that I am using my money to support smaller cottage, in cottage industries here in the United States. That's my fourth pro for the Outdoor Vitals Regulator Down Jacket. So I wouldn't be honest if I didn't have some also some negatives or some downsides of this Outdoor Vitals Regulator Down Jacket. The first one is it's a little heavier than many of the other brand jackets I've worn on the trail. I think it's mainly because they use a 20 denier fabric shell on the outside of their jackets and then a 10 denier on the inside lining of their jackets, which makes it just a little bit heavier. It's only ounces, but it is a downsize for this jacket. They're typically gonna be 
a little heavier than other well-known brand jackets on the market. My second um, negative for this jacket is what I mentioned in the previous one is you really only have the 20 denier option for the external shell of your jacket. There is no option to pick a 7 denier or a 10 denier. You're pretty much stuck with the 20 denier that they make with their jacket already. So the options aren't going to get any lighter. They've chosen the, the styles and the brands and the wearability they've chosen. And this 20 denier is your only option for the outside shell of the jacket. My third negative for the Outdoor Vitals um, regulator jacket is if you've noticed with many of their brands on the market, especially ones that I've reviewed here on my channel, there's a very limited variety of colors that this jacket comes in. You can either get the black version that I'm wearing or an olive green version. Those are really the only two colors they, uh, they have available on their website. No reds, no oranges, blues, silvers, any other colors. Not for the inside, not for the outside. So you're pretty much limited with these two colors for the Outdoor Vitals Regulator Jacket. Well, that's it for the Outdoor Vitals Regulator Jacket. It is definitely a welcome addition to anybody's gear set, their hiking gear. It definitely is of the ultralight hiking variety. If you found this video of any um, value to you at all, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and definitely check out our other videos on our channel at Worldview Outdoors. Until then, see you on the trail.